Welcome to all you Aries people. Welcome for your monthly forecast for October 2015. It's a very powerful month, a very a month where I'm so glad to see, uh, I think, one of the most or one of the most positive transits that's going on in October. So we don't always have to talk about the challenges and and, and so on. Now I want to talk about something really, really positive so that people can be open to that. And uh, it's about your ruler. Your ruler, Mars, is involved here. Um, so we're feeling it all, this positive aspect, but you will feel it in a specific way, which I will be talking about in a minute. And uh, so your ruler, Mars, the planet of action, the planet of drive, the planet of fresh starts, is going to conjunct Jupiter which is the planet of meaningfulness, the planet of expansion, the planet of optimism. So you will feel that you can change the world. I exaggerate, but that is exactly the energy, uh, what I'm talking about. It's a bit of exaggeration, but it's, it's still under control because it's in a trine with Pluto. And Pluto is the planet of power and strength and transformation. So that for all of us, there's something very strong going on in our lives and on a, on a long term. And this is very positive and very, that has a lot of potential there. What is it for you? It's in the sixth house. It's um, Mars, Ver uh, Venus and Jupiter all in Virgo in your sixth house. This can mean two main things because the sixth house is pets as well. But the two key areas, uh, the two key things you could say is work and health. Um, and in general, it's your day-to-day -day routines. So there is this positive, maybe uh, it's a good time to, to do um, new things during October for all of us. For you, it's a good time to start a new job to start a new project that connects with work, to start a new routine, whether it is do, starting doing yoga, where, whether it is uh, starting doing uh, exercises, whether it is starting a new diet, but starting something new that, that is good for your health, mental health as well. Do it because um, the energy that is going on now is um, is for the longer term. So the chances are there that it, it, it's going to take you um, a bit longer if you work hard, of course, if you do your effort, because Mars is doing effort yourself. Um, and there's a lot of, of initiation there. Um, and that's good. Venus is there as well in the sixth house, which shows that it's not only effort, it's also liking, it's also enjoying. So Hopefully you enjoy the new job hope, and um, good chances that you will. Um, Venus in the sex can also mean, it can also mean with Venus and Mars there, it can mean uh, meeting someone and, at work and having a lot of passion going on there. Um, yeah, that's good as well. That's good as well and very transformative. So you, you completely... Uh, change because of that. Maybe you need to change jobs because you fell in love with someone. Anyways, whatever it is, it's positive. And um, the Pluto is in Capricorn, which is also is also a workhouse in the 10th house. So it could mean for some of you that you fall in love with a colleague and it's something really, really powerful. Or with your boss, because Pluto in the 10th, maybe with your boss. Hmm. Um, but it's in a trine, so the energy should be quite um, smoothly. And, um, and for others, it simply means a big boost in, in career, a big boost, um, a big new start, a new project. Good to, to ask for promotion as well. Having lots of work, but work that you think is very meaningful uh, because that's Jupiter in the sixth house. Work that the things that you do on a daily basis gives you more meaning. That's basically it. So um, for Aries people, that's good. That's good. The sixth house is also your health. So if you've been having a bit of a struggle with health, it's a good time to launch some new regimes, some new methods to, um, to improve your health on, on, on different levels. Because Jupiter is also many. It means that, you know, trying out some different things and what resonates best with you, of course. At the same time, Mercury goes direct. That's good for everyone. It's for you good when it comes to relationships because now you um, Mercury is in the opposite sign of you, uh, which is not only love relationships. It could also mean, you know, people that you think are very important to you. Sometimes it's business partners. 
But Mercury going direct in the seventh house means that maybe you are, um, uh, and it's as from the ninth or tenth of the month of October. So things are going forward uh, when it comes to contracts with people. It's a good time. Actually, it's a good time after the, let's say, um, the 25th. So the last week of October, it's a good time, if you can postpone it, of course, but if you have your time, it's a good time to, 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 uh, to make contracts and so on, because then Mercury is out of its shadow period as well, and things go easier. So um, connecting with others um, should be easier as well. Uh, understanding others, uh, you trying to understand other people, which is not always easy for Aries, because Aries normally, normally, they are quite, you know, it's about the Aries. If you've got a lot of planets in Aries, it means you need to put focus on yourself. You need to put focus on you, and that that demands quite some courage. But now Mercury is in the seventh, which means that do some effort to understand other people, do some effort to listen to them. I have my moon in Aries. I know how difficult it is sometimes to listen to the people who are closest to you, but we can always try, do our best. Thank you so much for watching. There is, by the way, also a new moon in your opposite sign. I don't mention the new moons for every sign, but for you it's significant. It's uh, on the 13th, so for those who are single, no, is it on the 13th? 12th, 12th, 13th, for those who are single, maybe a new person in your life. Um, so there are, and for those who are in a relationship, there are like new things, uh, endings and new beginnings, you could say. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, wishing you all the best. Thank you for sharing these videos, for uh, booking readings and, and all of that. And I wish you a very powerful month, you Aries people. Bye-bye.